resort that's designed to create 600 new jobs. Well, the project involves some 800 lodges and other leisure facilities at three sites near Holyhead. But it's divided opinion in the town between those who want more jobs and those who are concerned about the environment, as Ian Mann reports. It's a place of quiet solitude, a woodland well known and loved by the many people who enjoy it, flourishing as it does on the edge of Anglesey's coastal path near Holyhead. But its very position and beauty has also given it economic value, an ideal site, say developers, land and lakes who want to build a leisure resort here. While 73 acres would remain open to the public, for those who love its wildness, it's not a welcome scenario. It should just be left as it is because it's an area of outstanding natural beauty, so just leave it alone. People are just so upset because, you know, it's just been people who have walked here for years and years and years and it, it should be really preserved. Also in the schemes, another 315 lodges on nearby land, as well as a housing development, all proposed for sites owned by Anglesey Aluminium. Developers say it would be a flagship leisure resort, creating up to 600 jobs. But today, Anglesey councillors refuse to give it planning permission because of its potential impact on the landscape and the environment. They, they, they don't mind something being done, but this is a, a complete devastation of the Penrose Nature Reserve. I don't think that we've had a proper discussion, either in the council or in the uh, local community, to decide whether or not uh, this is the proper development got here. But it's not the end of the road for this scheme. Because councillors went against an officer recommendation to approve the plan, it'll go back to the planning committee after a month-long cooling-off period. Meanwhile, this evening, the developers said they were extremely disappointed, but would continue to work to make the scheme a reality. Ian Lang, ITV News, Anglesey.